Hello, welcome to this edition of Before the Bells. I'm Dolan Healy. And I'm Miles Forrester. All right, well, let's get right into it. Come and enjoy and support some students' talents at the Coffee House tonight from 7, 5 to 7 p.m. Admission is $10 and tickets will be sold at all lunches today. You may also stop by room 317 to purchase tickets during homeroom. The tickets are cash only, please, but includes admission, snacks, beverage, and a chance to win a door prize. I mean, room listen, we've been talking about this for so long, yeah. and it's finally happening. Mm -hmm. You've got to be there. Yeah, you do. And it's 317. I don't know why I said 317, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. And you can win a door prize. Yeah. But uh, seniors, oh, tickets for the Senior Banquet will be on sale Thursday, May 4th, and Friday, May 5th during lunch. Tickets are only $5, and this is a great opportunity for you to get your yearbook signed by your classmates and MHS faculty. Senior Banquet is, Tues is Tuesday, May 30th, from 4.30 to 6.30 in student dining. There will be a buffet with food from the alumni and words from the faculty members you choose to dedicate your yearbook to. I mean, this is just going to be a great event, you know, you want to get your yearbook signed by yeah. everybody. There's no reason not to go seniors. Mm -hmm. All right, attention all senior writers. The graduation committee is looking for anyone from the senior class to write a poem and perform a poem at graduation. There is no length requirement and the poem can be about anything related to our time in Marshfield. Auditions are going to be held May 11th and if you are interested, please see Maggie Leonard. If you're good at writing poems, you write poems in your free time, do it. Get after it. Yeah, there's no hey, reason not to. Try it. Yeah, why not? Yeah, but seniors, keep listening because we got another announcement for you guys. The graduation committee is looking for any seniors that would be interested in performing at this year's graduation auditions, and will they will be held on May 11th, and you can either perform the national anthem or a featured song. If you have any interested, or if you're interested, or have any questions, please see Maya D'Antonio. I mean, come on, what what can you do to make graduation more hype if you yeah. have your own senior? If I could sing. I would be I would be belting out the national right, anthem. Exactly. Oh yeah, my house just for just patriotism. Yeah. Just that's just how I am. Yeah. But that's all we have. So let's turn to sports. Sports. I'm Jake Hemingway. I'm Johnny Violesi, and let's get right into it and talk about the girls' softball dominant win, 16 to seven over Situate. The girls played stellar, and Sam Bongelotti went five for five at bat and had an inside the park home run. Sarah McIntyre got a triple to drive in runs, and Haley McPhee had a double to do the same thing. We have a highlight and a field report from the game. Let's take a look. We've been going hard for too long. Too long. Can't get enough for the shoe.
get a little, they just wanna take it down, pop. Money, money in the pot. Once you get a little, they just wanna take it down, pop. That's that side is. When you feel me, you should know how it go. That's that side is. I got an apple in my hand and a pocket full of dough. All right, I'm here with the Marshfield softball team after a sweet 16 to six win. Sam, I know you're five five today, home run. How'd you get locked in before the game? Um, in practice, we work every single week, and I think that helped a lot. And my teammates are always locked in with me, and I really appreciate that. Sweet, Gracie, great defensive catch today. Great work. I mean, what do you do in practice to like prepare like every week? We just work hard out in the outfield. Like we really pay attention a lot to like where the ball is going and what's going on, and we all just really work together to help each other out and get it down. All right, great <laughs> answer, Sarah. Great work today. Human backstop. How are you able to track those pitchers behind the plate? You know, you just gotta react fast, and luckily I don't have to do it that much because Sophia's just always throwing strikes. All right, great job today. All right, Maddie. Six-two record, keeping the ball rolling. How how do you stay on top every week? Um, everyone's been putting in the work in practice. Everyone's been doing a great job. They, everyone just has focused all game from the start to the very end. And without the coaches, we would be nowhere. So Freddie and JD do a great job coaching us. All right, great job, girls. Uh, send it back to the desk. Yeah! The girls are winning in numbers. I mean, shout out to them. They have 31 runs in their last two games. That's crazy. That's it's wild. That's awesome. Outscoring opponents by 21, too. All right, but in other news, the boys track team was cooking with Cooking with gas for their <laughs> senior meet, beating Whitman Hanson 120 to 16. Everyone played a strong part, and thank you to our seniors. We have a field report from that meet, so let's send to that. I'm Owen Fischel with MSB TV, and I'm here with uh, three members of the boys' track and field team. Gio, you won your race in the 100 today. What goes into um, putting in that work for this? Well, it starts at practice with Kamaier, you know, working us hard and getting us ready, and just a good stretch right before. That's all. It does. That's all it takes. Awesome. Yeah, Kamara gets you guys good. All right, Sam, this is your last season before going to play at Bryant. Uh, what's it like to have this last ride? You know, it feels good, you know, running with teammates, friends, all that good stuff. I feel like high school is a lot better than college because you make friends here and then you make more in college. And I'm excited to continue doing good in this season and moving on to college. Awesome. Yeah. Greg, big guy, won the 100 today. Yeah. You know, how are you so effective every week? You know, he always pushes me, going to Bryant, D1 runner, Cody's, Cody's great. It, it's really about the teammates, you know, just, it's it's not pacing, but it's it's trying to beat them, not only Whitman Hanson or whoever we're facing, so they, they really push me. Awesome, great work, guys. Let's send it back. All them Ram. All right. Oh, oh my God. Teleprompter's having a quick issue. Oh. We'll figure it out, but great meet. It was fun to be a part of it. It's fun to be a part of that team. Uh, rugby team is playing today at 6 against Hanover. It's Hawaiian theme. You want to be there. But girls track, we have a field report. Let's send it to that. I'm here with the girls track and field team after a huge win over Women Hanson. Piper, it's your first time running the uh, 4x4. What did you have to do to prepare for this? Um, well, it's me and Cammie's first time ever running, and we had an awesome supportive team that showed us the ropes and motivated us to do well. Great job. Mia, how did you um, complete your transition so smooth today? Uh, just for the transitions, you kind of just had to like make sure that you were like looking at the stick when you were handing it off, and they just went really smoothly. Awesome, great job. Sarah, you did a great job with the anchor today. What's the key to being so effective with that? Um, you just have to see where your teammates have put you so far and what place you're in so you can pace it well and time your kick really well. Um, but I give credits to my teammates for putting me in such a good spot. Great job. Cammie, great job today. What's the key to um, moving forward for the team's success? Uh, we just need to practice more and focus on our handoffs. Great job. Let's send it back. All right, sorry about the uh, malfunction there. The girls won 88-48. to 48. Uh, we're just killing it. Track is killing it. Uh, we're going to have an amazing season for the rest of the season, and that's all we have for today. So, Mayor Marshfield, cough into your elbow, and let's have a wonderful one, uh, Thursday. <laughs> have, a, have a thrilling Thursday. <laughs>